Hello YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives on another Multi-Tool Monday. This video is going to be about uh, keychain or pocket-sized uh, pry bars. Uh, Multi-Tool Monday is going to include all types of tools. Now the Leatherman squirt you see there is for size comparison. So what do we have here? Okay, so there's the squirt. Next to that are two night eyes. Uh, those are called doohickey one-piece multi-tools. Then we have a Gerber shard. We have two Schrade pry bar tools and the Boker mini bar. These are the night eyes tools. You see it comes in two models. This has, well this is the normal model and you can use that as a screwdriver. And this is more of a scraper. That's uh, for scraping stuff. They both have the bottle opener shapes and they have these wrench cutouts here. And this one has the flat head on the other end. And it also has the ruler markings. Right, and you see these are some of the smallest and most uh, compact mini prize you can get. You see it's around the size of the Leatherman Squirt. And next up is the Gerber Shard. You see the size comparison. A little bit longer and also the shape of it. You know, it's a little bit wider overall. Now this is interesting because it has three screwdrivers, right? This uh, flathead, flathead, and then this like flattened Phillips on the corner there. It's got a key ring hole or a lanyard hole there. It's got this arm with a hook. And also, this is at an angle. Gives you a lot more leverage uh, when you pry with it. And I'll tell you, the fact that it has that angle there is extremely useful. And the fact that it has that arm there, I mean, that's, you know, it's for opening bottles, but you can also, there's a lot of times where you might have to pry kind of like that, kind of like this. And yeah, that little, that little arm hook there and that angle there make this, I found it makes it like, you know, twice as useful as if it was just flat. Okay, the Schrade tools. Well, this is the first tool. Now these are titanium. So they're a bit more expensive than the steel ones. The pretty much the only benefit of the titanium is that they're lighter in weight. Uh, some people don't like real heavy stuff on their keychain, right? So that's that's the benefit of the titanium. So you see it has a belt cutter there, bottle opener there. Uh, these are prize, but they're also screwdrivers. Another screwdriver extension there wrench type cutouts there these can be um, they can be like lanyard holes and I think there's also bits that could fit into that hex shaped one nice thing about this it's around the size of certain flashlights like this uh, Eagle Tac D25C it's around the same length All right so these they could fit in the same container right if it was about that long uh, compared to a Swiss Army knife, again, right around the same length if you wanted to put these side by side in a little pouch or something like that. One thing I don't like on this is the belt cutter. I just don't think there should be sharp edges on um, a pry tool because inherently, if you're prying something, you're applying a lot of force. And no matter how deep they seem to make these, I can always end up cutting myself. In fact, I have nicked myself with this. I don't even know how I did it, but I was prying something and a little piece of skin went down there. So I would just as soon have my cutting tools be completely separate from my pry tools. And here is the second Schrade titanium pry tool. It's a little bit larger than that one. But you see it has a pry portion, the V-notch there, a cutter there. Uh, cap lifter there has the wrench cutouts, right? More little pry parts, two arms, but it also has open jaw wrench cutouts. That's very useful. I find the the open jaw very useful. In fact, the other day one of my friends was repairing a bicycle, and they didn't have the exact size wrench that they needed, and this thing worked, you know, for turning what needed to be turned because. You know, they have steps here, so it fits a variety of sizes. All right, and the Superstar, the Boker Mini Bar. 
I really like this one. Now, this is a, a larger size, right? It's actually around the size of your extra large size Swiss Army knives. However, uh, they do give you a pocket clip, right? Because you probably wouldn't keep this on a keychain. So it comes with a pocket clip. Or you can remove that if you're keeping this like in a container, um, like a little kit, you can remove that so it lies flat. So it's got like the cap lifter right there. And it's got, you know, basically a pry bar end. And you see that there. But what I love about this is in addition to the regular pry, you know, all the other tools have a regular pry too, just a straight prying end. So that's not that special, but what's great about this is this part right here, uh, this arm and that arm. Like that part just gives you a lot more leverage in certain types of prying because yeah, this prying you can pry, but if you need more leverage and you can get that underneath what you're prying, you can really apply a lot of force, just like the bent end of a crowbar. So that adds a whole new level of um, prying you can do. And this part, if you, if you can get that wedged under something or get something in there, same thing. You can use this as a lever and really ap apply a lot of force, right, with those two structures. So that is perfect for this length of tool. Because if this was shorter, like a keychain size, eh, that wouldn't be that good because you couldn't, right, apply a full, you know, four finger closed grip to really apply a lot of force. So yeah, what I like about this is, for a little bit of increase in length, you can apply way more force with this than you can with the uh, shorter mini pries. Now this is 440C, all right, and it is lightly stonewashed. I don't know if you can tell, it has a light stonewash, and you know, it's steel. I kind of like that it's steel more than titanium, even though titanium would be lighter. Steel is just, it's harder for one thing. So if you're, if you had to pry against something else that was steel, um, it would, would tend to damage it less. So in conclusion, if you need the absolute smallest and most compact, go with those two night eyes. Those are pretty much the smallest little prize, you know, that I've found. And the carabiner is pretty convenient. If you're willing to go slightly larger, go with that Gerber shard because for just a little bit of an increase uh, in the width and the length, um, it really gives you a lot more prying power because of uh, it's not flat. Now that's a little inconvenient, but still, it, it gives a surprising amount of leverage just because they put in that curve. And it's only like, I think they're like $5 or less sometimes. I do think everyone should have a Gerber shard. The Schrade tools, they're a little pricey. They're between, I don't know, 20, 20 to 30. So that is a little bit pricey. But if, if weight is a big concern, they are titanium. The stone wash is nice. And especially if you want the open jawed wrench thing, uh, the second Schrade mini pry is very good. Um, so yeah, they're pricey. Just depends what you need. They are also larger, more leverage. As I said, I personally don't like the belt cutter on either of them, or on any pry tool. But if you do like that, they have a good one. And last, the Boker Mini Bar. I think that's the best thing here. I mean, you know, with, with everything considered. Um, yeah, it's a lot larger. You'd probably have to carry it in a pocket or a pouch with some other stuff. But it provides a lot of prying power. You know, one of the... One of the uh, objections to the smaller keychain ones is that uh, you can't really pry that much with such a tiny little thing. Um, but when you're getting to the size of that mini bar, you're starting to get more and more uh, practical amounts of prying power with it. And as I said, that T-shape they have to it um, just adds a whole new dimension and makes perfect sense for that size. All right, so my top recommendations would be the Gerber Shard and the Boker Mini Bar. Yeah, I, I would say those are must-haves. All right, so I will include the links to all of these uh, if you want to purchase them. 
I really hope you enjoyed the video. This has been We All Juggle Knives, another multi-tool Monday. I'm out.